Hi, it's Sarah here from Sarah Bennett Commercial Photography again. I'm going to show you another educational video all about photo shoots and how business owners can shoot their products that they want to put on sale on e-commerce sites and also on their social media. Today I'm going to look at some beauty products. So we're looking at powders, lip glosses and foundations. First we're going to shoot on a plain white background so you can have them on an e-commerce site that's available for purchase to the public and then we will pretty them up a little bit and show you how you can create a bit more of a lifestyle shoot again using just bits around your home I'm just gonna see how we can change it up and create different looks with these products so I'm in my studio you can probably hear the lights are on so let's get on and start shooting Okay, so the lights are on, you can probably hear that, and I've set up a bit of a beauty uh, shot over here. I'm using a background with a slight wood grain, I'll just turn the camera so you can see. So it's got a slight wood grain, but that will make the image pop still. If you want to use a completely white one, then you can get poly foam boards from Hobbycraft, they're about £4.99 each, and um, you can stand a white one up there, you can get different colours, I think white and black, um, various different colours. So you can use that too, but I kind of like the wood grain, I think it will just add a tiny bit of interest, but it's still something that you can use on an e-commerce site to sell products. It's not going to detract too much from the product. If you had flowers in the background and, you, and they were pink and then you were selling or trying to photograph pink beauty products then I would say that's possibly a bit too busy but something with a very very slight pattern isn't going to detract too much from from the product that you're shooting so as you can probably see uh, I have set up some blusher and what I've done to add a bit of interest is I've put some of the blusher onto a brush and quite coated, coated it quite heavily so that you can still you can st see the colour on the brush but I've tapped some off into the front here so it adds a little bit of interest and then I've stood up I'm just going to straighten that up a bit. Um, I've stood up the, the powder along with three eyeshadows, a hot pink lip gloss and a hot pink lip liner just to tie it all in together. So we've got pink running through and then a bit of tonal neutral colours in the middle. So I'm using my Canon 5D Mark III which is my amazing beautiful workhorse camera. It's got a Tamron lens, 24-70mm on it. I'm shooting on an automatic focus, but I'm shooting on manual. So my manual settings are for this particular shoot, um, if I can get the camera to give me it. It's 100 ISO, it's 1 1 25th shutter speed, and I'm using an aperture of about 5 to 5.6. So the higher your aperture goes up, the darker your uh, picture will become and the lower your aperture the lighter so when you're shooting when you're shooting on a very low aperture you're letting quite a lot of light in which and you can get that depth of field blur in the background that's quite nice and this cap this lens will go down to 2.8 um, up to f22 so i've got a trigger on top of my camera here as you can see and that triggers my lights so if i press that you can probably see a flash in the background and that means that it's triggered it's receiving and talking to the lights and the lights I'm using are Bowen Gemini 1000s, they are amazing lights. I've got two of these but I'm only using one with an umbrella for this particular shoot. The umbrella will, um, the light shoots up to the umbrella and it reflects it back onto the product so it gives you a nice bright image. So I'm just going to move the camera a little bit forward so that you can see a bit more about what I'm doing and again you're probably going to see the back of my head a bit, uh, which is probably best for some. And I'm going to come in quite close to these products, focusing on the wording in the middle on one of the eyeshadows, half press the shutter to focus, bring up your lens to make sure you've got what you need in the viewfinder and shoot. And you can see here we've got a nice crisp clear image and the wood grain is almost irrelevant in the background, you can hardly see it so I kind of like that but I'm going to just come out a little bit so I get more of the brush so you can see a bit more of the brush in this one and the powder on the floor I'm not happy with the way this little lip liner is standing it's kind of leaning away from the rest of the crowd just going to move it so that we've got some nice space in between and I'm just going to move the brush around a little bit 
that's in here. And I'm also, because this little one is not sitting straight. Attention to detail, I've probably said in other videos, is really important, especially with products that you're going to be selling online. You really need to make sure that it's it looks amazing and it's, it's exactly how you want it. So I'm happy with that. Focusing again on the middle product and shooting. And yeah, I like that. That's that's possibly the image that I would go for. Now, for you, it might take a little bit longer to actually work out what you want to, sh you know, what, what image you like. So you you can mess around and have lots of different goes at and change things around. But for me, I, I really like that. So what I'm going to do now is put a little bit more of a creative twist on it, uh, something that maybe could be used for Valentine's. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've found this hot pink ribbon. It's just an ordinary bit of ribbon, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna twirl it round my finger. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So I'm twirling it round, a bit like when you twirl a whistle round. You ever done that with a whistle and twirl it round? Um, so it's twirled round my finger, like that. And then I'm just gonna gently, I hope you can see this, gently untwirl it so that it, it gives you that lovely, oops and hopefully it doesn't twirl back up. That lovely look there. Okay, so now you've got a bit of interest. Just fiddle around with that. And it doesn't matter if the... It doesn't have to be right behind. Kind of like that. So again, that's something that maybe if it was red, you could do it something for Christmas. I've chosen pink because it will coincide with what the product colours are. And again, we're still focusing on the product. We're not focusing on the ribbon at all. So we'll come in and shoot. That. And I think because the ribbon is quite dark, I'm going to take the aperture up a little bit. Uh, sorry, down a bit to 4.5. Make those lights work a little bit harder for me. And from that, you get something like that, which, as I said, Valentine's, perfect. Party time, that kind of thing. Girls' night out, hen parties. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to focus on... Brush... I'm just going to shoot that as a separate item. So I'm coming in very close on this. Just going to move that there. Whoops. I use blue tack quite a lot because it, you can get it into quite a small ball and it will just stick it long enough for you to shoot or just hold something in that particular place. And again, coming in very close, focusing on the name. This is where I'm going to darken up the aperture a bit. Take it up to 5.6. And you get a nice poppy image with all that lovely pink. And then when you edit, you can bring the pink up a little bit more and make it make it pop even more. And if you really want to, what you could do is just to keep the continuity up is you could put this ribbon back in again. Just have it behind. It's quite nice. Have it twirling a bit. Okay. And then again, shoot. move around. Remember you can move things around, you don't have to accept the way it looks the first time round. And I'm 
just moving things around as I shoot and changing the, the, the slight angle so that I get the shot that I want. So you get shots like that for instance. Okay. So there's lots of things that you can do, you can get even more creative than that, but obviously this is only a short video just to show you some slightly different styles and also um, give you some ideas for just breathing a bit of life into your products if you're selling online. If there's anything that you actually want to know that I haven't covered as yet and you want me to do a video on something in particular, then please make a comment in the box below. Or you can email me and you can find my website at www.sarah-bennett with two n's and two t's dot com. So I'm going to go away and edit these images now and I will put them at the end of the video. Please like below and subscribe if you like what you see. Um, I've got lots and lots more videos to come, all in the making, so I hope to see you back here very soon.